arrived in the first. I too relied upon the crystal exarch for guidance. But his penchant for secrecy and the telling of half truths soon lost him my trust. Penchant. And thus did I strike out on my own. My work eventually led me here to the forest, which I've come to know like the back of my hand. I cannot say with certainty where your quarry is hiding, but I am confident I can narrow the search. Dun, dun, well, dun, dun. Go on. Some few thousand years ago, this forest stood at the heart of the Empire of Ronka. Some few thousand. A great many relics of that civilization can still be found to the east in Ixmaya. Or rather, could be found, were the area not fiercely guarded. Ixmaya, you see, is home to a tribe of warriors whose lineage is said to date back to the time of the Empire. Any attempt to enter their territory is met with lethal force. They offer no warnings and suffer no trespasser to escape. Needless to say, my every attempt to survey the area has been thwarted. Mayhap the Warden hideth there, full knowing none may approach it for fear of these protectors. For the tablet, I find the timing of its discovery suspiciously convenient. If I, oh. oops. Regardless, it will take Trigger time finger. to decipher these writings. Yet I would not be at all surprised if they somehow held the key to entering Ixmaya unmolested. The Exarch has a nose for serendipity. If there is aught I can do to assist thee in unraveling their secrets, thou needst only ask. Thank you, Rianger. I may well take you up on that offer. While we set to work, might I suggest you take a tour of the city? Should you be in any doubt as to the importance of your role as the warrior of darkness, the people here will surely cure you of it. I must say, Ishtola, while most of us have struggled to come to terms with the circumstances, you seem to have adapted rather well. Lest you forget, Master Matoya and I dedicated our lives to uncovering the truth which hides at the heart of our world. Though separate, the fate of this reflection is nevertheless bound to that of our home. That I would be daunted by such an invaluable opportunity is absurd. But what of you, Thancred? Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? My struggles are none of your concern. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed. If you'll excuse me. He understands that I'm not the same. That I'm not her understands perhaps but does not accept the question being whether he ever will and whether you will more importantly as difficult as your circumstances may be they are yours not his tis you and you alone who bears ultimate responsibility for your life But you need not make any hard choices now. 
Why not go and get some fresh air? Clear your head. Me. Joe is training. What's up, Grinitol? It has, it has. I think I should have been in Virginia about this time of year. <laughs> if only COVID didn't happen. That's right. I'll be in uh, Vail, Colorado for five months. I'm returning to the matter of my hand, I really must work on deciphering this tablet. In the meanwhile, perhaps you should take a look out. Look about Slitherbow. If there's anything you need, pray speak with Runar at the plaza. Yeah, my internet is okay right now, so I'm trying to stream. Welcome, Jimochu. Uh, yeah. I am enjoying it. There's a lot of cutscenes <laughs> in comparison to how many dungeons and fights there have been so far. It's real story heavy. Welcome, friend. Welcome. My apologies for our less than hospitable greeting earlier. Tell me, what is your name? From where do you hail? From the Crystarium, I see. And this tablet you brought may help us find the Light Warden here in Rakitika? Well, you are welcome to stay with us as long as you need. Come, let me show you around. <laughs> That's right, my character's ready for COVID. He's got his mask on. Would it be alright if I joined you? Of course, of course. Anything for the guests of our dear Master Batoya. Thank you. She means a great deal to the Night Blessed, doesn't she? Not for her, we may have all perished in the Great Fire. The priests slain in our home in ruins. We were at the mercy of the Sin Eaters. It was she who drove them back, and with her sage guidance, we were able to rebuild. Before long, she became a central figure in our community. A great oak within whose shadow may have come to find... Many have come to find solace. Did I hear the great... I mean, I've, I've had the sound on, so I'm sure I heard the music. Was it the one with the weird voices? It's not to say that those... That there were not those... Hesitant to grant an outsider such authority, myself included. Perhaps there was a smile in her eyes when she speaks of the sunless sea, I feel. Whole again. Now that she is with us, I have no doubt others feel the same. La hi la hi. I don't know, I don't remember it, I just remembered some weird tracks and voices. She is as much a part. I just barely got to this area. She is as much a part of the night's blessed as any of us and we are grateful for all she does in service to the dark oh the fairy lady or the oh never mind just talk, still talking about the track but did you hear this from her yes ah my ah my ah my ah my ah now you should know that there are certain customs we ask guests to adhere to, so long as they reside within Slitherbow. To show reverence to the dark? In a word, yes, but fear not, it's not too involved. Let us begin with something simple. Follow me. Follow me to the next cutscene. 
Head nod. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I heard the music. I've now swiftly forgot it, but I, I did hear it when it happened. I think I made... Well, no, I didn't make a comment on the stream because it was right before I started streaming. I'll hear it again, though, I and mean, I assume I'll walk back into that area at some point. Sure, do you see any of our people come to the chamber? They will likely return from a journey beyond the... They have likely returned from a journey beyond the borders of Rectica. We use the water stored here to cleanse ourselves of the lights and purity. A simple and perhaps particular custom, but one of our most important. Would you two kneel for a moment that I might rid you of the lights and purity? Gosh. Oh boy, where's Neil at? <laughs> Where is it? Where's Neil? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Just passed. Dude, typing that thing in on the PlayStation 4 is the world's worst chore. remember typing for the, one of the fairy quests they had to type in like a whole sentence with correct punctuation and everything that was the worst it's harder than any fight so far <laughs> it was my fight with the playstation 4 keyboard input I did I did choose the ps4 route I've never not had the... No, that's not true. The first time I got this game. It was uh, on the computer. I don't have the expansion on the computer. I'm not sure to be honest. Not refreshed exactly, but I do feel different. Has this water been treated in some way? Looks questionable to me. Only blessed by a priest. They are practicing the arcane arts as such. It is said that their prayers imbue the water with a faint dark energy. A prickling sensation? No one has ever spoken of such a reaction before. I wouldn't say it was an unpleasant sensation, but I too feel something strange. The dark aspect of this water should have no discernible effect unless... Um, that sounds awesome. You should join us on Tuesday evening. Um, or like Tuesday, no, it's like Tuesday at 5.30 our time. We're planning on doing, like, we're planning on having some fun in the game. But I'm trying to do as many quests as I can today. By the gods, Master Bertoyo was right. You are senators. Just for next week, that's just how our schedules line up. I jest, I jest. What you felt was likely no more than the chill of the water. Twice in mine's schedule is awful. As far as like where it lines up. It'll actually be better when I move to Colorado. I like a lot. I'll have pretty similar schedules. Perhaps now would be a good time for you to acquaint yourself with the people of the Slitherbow. For that, I must teach you a customary greeting. Ah, uh, I was looking for a seasonal job. And that's what I found. It's just for the winter season in Vail, because it's a big ski town. And I'm working for the city of Vail. Alain Tota, the language of Ronka. It's one of the several ways one might 
say a good evening. Yeah, they got me an apartment there and everything. The world is not as safe as it once was. This greeting lets us quickly discern friends from foe. Is there a handshake or gesture we should know too? I would hate to offend anyone. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be able to get the job I have when I come back to Utah. That'll start up again in March. So I'm I'm doing a seasonal job right now. That ends at the end of December, and then starts up again in March, and it just does that every year. Um, and they're used to people like leaving in like August and stuff, so. I'll be leaving at the end of this month. So they shouldn't be too mad at me for leaving. So I should be able to get it back. You need not worry. Merely speak the words, Alan Tuda. And they will know you as a friend of the blessed. I will await your return here. Now go. They are like to be hardened by your knowledge of our ways. Alan Tuna. Gosh, this is gonna be a pain. Alright, let's go talk to some people. Say Alan Tuna to them. Tuda, Tuda with a T, sorry. woman smiles warmly. Say, welcome, friend. I take it you will remain in these woods for some time. Yes, be wary of these woods. You will find poison near everything you see. But be our heart, our, med our medicinal tea will keep you healthy. Ask, and it is yours. All right, man. I'll probably be on for the next hour or so. Thanks for coming by. Their business of strangers. You didn't type the thing you're supposed to type. Adeline Toto? Ah, oh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> They're quiet and tactile people. I need shorter quests. I gotta be 20 quests in order to get to the next one. Plan on playing on Tuesday at 5:30, and we're planning on not only doing the next dungeon we're supposed to get to, which is called Kitana Ravel, but also do some like dailies so we can actually have fun in this game and not just do a, a cutscene grind all the time. Because our timeline actually lines up for like four hours on Tuesday. So 5.30 our time. It's Utah time. Everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first, but already I'm starting to feel at home. There's still much I have to learn about the Knights Blessed, but their faith and strength of will is nothing short of inspiring. I can see now 
how they've built such a thriving community. There's more for you to learn about the slither bow. Ah, you return. Very good. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. I had a lot of fun on Sunday when we recorded it. No doubt they were very glad of your company. It's been too long since we have had visitors. Remember, if you have any questions, or there is anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Not, not. Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodgings for you for your stay. As, as friends of Master Matoya, we cannot ask for payment, but if you would be willing to lend a hand, it would be it would be my pleasure. Yo, we are fortunate indeed to play such host. To play host to such generous souls. Gosh, I can't read after this long of a day. The task I have, uh, I have in mind is simple enough. All I ask is that you take a jug of water to the crops on the square. In the square. May I help too? Of course. One of you can do the filling, the other the water. Water, 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 water. Speak with our... Ursabel <laughs> when you have finished. <laughs> Poor unfortunate thing. She will be relieved to hear the crops have been intended to. While you take care of that, I will see your room in a warm see to your room in a warm meal. Right then. I'll fill you water. Nice. This is the only jug I could find that's small enough to lift, but I'm afraid there's a crack in the bottom. You'll need to hurry to the garden before all the water leaks out. Okay. 45 seconds to complete the task. <laughs> Easy. Come on now. Come on. Gotta take care of the rest. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, French philosopher. I can't answer that question. Well, we have some different ideas about what the show should be and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Not me and everybody. This. Huh, so accept your friend request. Well, met travelers, I observed you earlier speaking with the others. Have you need of something? Yeah, I don't know if I'll be on permanently or not. We will see. Uh, we have not decided. I'll also be in Vail for five months, so if I were to be on there, I would be Skyping in. You water the crops? Ah, oh, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I've been rather distracted of late. Watering the crops was always tedious. Wow, that's... tedious. <laughs> okay, tedious to you. But she, she is no longer with us. We have since taken to sharing the duty, though never with guests. You are most kind. 
Is there anything else we can do to help? We could plan something if you like. There's no need. The plot is small, true. But uh, it provides us with enough to survive. We ask no more for no more. Like the keep on track attitude. I think we were in a hurry that day because Zack had a heart out. So it was especially necessary to move along. But I like both the episodes we did. I don't really talk that much in the second one because it was a game review for a game I didn't play. But they were both pretty good, I think. Uh, the blessed not consider leaving. Life would surely be easier almost anywhere else. I can understand why you might say that, but the easiest path is not always the right one. Tell me, do you know our history? How our faith came to be? Let's talk about this for 20 minutes. Ah, uh, yes, I believe so. The Knights Blessed was initially formed by those who lost their homes in the wake of the flood. Exposition. What began as an occasional gathering of survivors of eventually grew into a community which ultimately decided to strike out on its own in the Rakta Greatwood. Raktika. I see you have read your history and have read it aloud to us as well. There is a history that is told, one that is lived. Like so many in those times, the first of the knights blessed lost everything, their homes, their loved ones. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls <laughs> those lost in the flood when their bodies were reborn as sin eaters. The people here were without answers, without hopes. Their gods have drowned along with everything else. It seemed that nothing was beyond the reach of the light. Stop trying to convert me. <laughs> but soon they realize that where there is light, there must be darkness. And in that truth, they found a new faith, a belief that the souls of the departed could yet find peace beyond the burning skies in the sunless sea above Jake Soli. That is why we pray, Jake Soli, for the safe passage of wayward souls into that blessed black abyss for the return in the night, that we may someday look upon the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. We remain in the wood for the self same reason our founders first chose them, that we may lead lives of simplicity with the shade of the trees as a constant reminder of our faith. With so many seeking paradise in Yulemore, it's refreshing to find people who value a humbler existence. You are so kind to say so. Many consider our way of life foolish, and so it must seem to those who get cling to their worldly possessions. In times such as these, when everything can be taken away in an instant, it is all too easy to lose sight of why we fight to go on living. It is not to hold fast to material things, but to hold those who went before us in our hearts, to keep alive the legacy they have left us. This is, this we must do for them, our children, and generations yet. Oh gosh. <laughs> Allergies today. Generations yet on board. To keep their legacy alive. Don't worry. It'll give me like... Uh, I'll have to walk ten feet and I'll get a whole another big cutscene. But da 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 See? See? <laughs> Done tending to the crops already? Very good. It should not be long before your room is ready. Runar! <laughs> Sorry, I gotta store it, guys got cocaine in here. I can't waste it. In the woods. <gasps> Sin eaters. I fear they may have the touch. <laughs> ah! Where? In the grove to the southwest. West. They're, they're a little touched. 
for <laughs> for mercy. If you had to water any closer to Slitherbow. Then we have no need to engage. Inform the guard that no one has set foot outside the village until they are moved on. Why? Because that would give me something to do? But sir, what if Toddy is Hearthstone? It must be retrieved before the service. Of all the times for Sin Eaters to appear. Are you just going to leave them alone? Under normal circumstances, we would not hesitate in striking the beast down. But if they indeed have the touch, I'll not risk them corrupting one of our own. <laughs> what was that you said about a stone? A few days passed. Tadia, a child of the Knights Blessed, was slain by the Sin Eaters. Oh, he's talking. I didn't even see his lips move. We succeeded in retrieving her body, but in our haste... We failed to notice her necklace was gone. Strung to it was a pendant of jade, her heart stone. All of the knights blessed are given such a stone at birth. It is the most valuable possession one can own. It is custom to present the heart stone of the deceased at the funeral as an offering to the heavens, but now... Bling ding, bling ding ding. What if, what if I could find it for you? <gasps> what? I've experienced fighting sin eaters, and the light's corruption does not touch me like it does others. Master Matoya called you Menphilia, did she not? Are you truly the Menphilia, descended from the Oracle? Even so, I dare not ask you to risk your life for the blessed. I understand how you feel, but I can't stand. I can't stand by knowing that your people are in need and I can help. Please, let me do this. You won't. You won't. No. <laughs> Very well. But if the danger proves too great, you must retreat. I can never forgive myself if I were first to hold a second service. <laughs> I nearly forgot about Thancred. What if he returns before I do? <clears throat> Don't worry, I'll come with you. <gasps> Thank you. With you at my side, I'm certain we can deal with them in no time at all. Go swiftly. May the shadows keep you both. How far away? Okay. Get out of my broom. No, not that way. <laughs> You'll die martyr doing all of her quests for her. Uh, she is Menvilia, after all. She's quite important. Like another form of Minfilia. Love? Oh, this is what Crinitol was talking about. Yeah, it's quite a strange theme for a map. I don't hate it, though. Oh, it's just FF14. Minfilia. Yahi! Yahi! Hui! Ho! Yahi! My Yahi! My Yahi! My Yahi! My Yahi! There, the Sin Eaters. Oh yeah, those guys. It's been like a month and a half gap here between when I met them and now. Because twice took forever to get to this game. 
Oh, thanks, man. You're one of the few, the proud, the people who only listen to nuclear. <laughs> Most of our listeners come from UFF. Uh, I was hoping there would be only one. There's no way we can search for the stone without dealing with them first. Let's get to it, then. What? Shouldn't we make wait we wake we make a plan first? Though there are only two. Yeah, UFF has five times the amount of downloads that New Clan has. I'll draw one of them away, you can deal with the other. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Why can't I target this guy? Wow, I had to tilt my camera up. Die. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. It is funny. It is funny, but gosh, my name will forever be associated with it. <laughs> it's like I, I dread the day I have kids. I think find that thing. You know, I joked about it being like a segment on New Clan. That might be kind of fun. It's the perfect show for that. As a segment, not as a whole show. It was a little rough for UFF. Turned off a lot of people. We'll go like Craig and Schweiss now. Go bug him on Twitter or Discord or something. Yeah. There you are, Nuborius. It's done, though I fear I was a bit careless. I'll better do it next time, I promise. <laughs> well, bug him before you do that. <laughs> I can't imagine Craig reading out loud. I can't, I can't imagine anyone who would want to hear Craig read out loud. <laughs> he said with love. I'm, I'm fine. You needn't worry about me. More importantly, we have to find that hearthstone. They said it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in the brush. Yeah. <laughs> me. See shiny. Now, how long have you been listening to New Clan? I recognize your name quite a bit. If only, if only he had the stream of consciousness to be able to do that. <laughs> oh man, in the Last of Us 2 review, you'll hear it. <laughs> oh, you'll hear it. <laughs> it's pretty great. Okay, so you've been around for a while. Friendly philosopher. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got some concerns with coming back to the show. It mostly has to do with, um... I mean, for me personally, it's about doing two video game podcasts at the same time. But UFF is no longer weekly, so I'm thinking I might be able to handle it. <sighs> uh, there's other stuff, too, but... That's all behind the scenes. But, I mean, I'd like to... I'd like to give it another go for a while, at least. Might be pretty fun. Gosh, is that the only one I found? I'm still searching for the jade. I'm not seeing the jade. I know, there's things about the... <laughs> no, I moved back to Utah and there are none... All this Spanish learning is in vain. I don't know. <laughs> the only person I can talk to is my old roommate. <laughs> Seems to be no trace of the Hearthstone here. I know! Serious tragedy. That was the same tree, so the other tree I saw... I know a lot more Spanish now, too. So I've still been drilling it daily during COVID. I do about 30 minutes a day. I listen to an intermediate Spanish podcast where they just talk. Kind of slower. <laughs> I got a Spanish grammar thing I'm going through. I'm trying to figure out Hello Talk. just went back to the same tree, didn't I? Because I'm an idiot! Hmm. Tengo muy triste. Porque no tengo una novia. <laughs> una novia mexicana. <laughs> uh, thank you, French. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I don't know if I hate the music or if I really dig it. Because <laughs> it's one of those two things. It's definitely going to be touched on with a review there. <laughs> Welcome to UFO! I got the gem after circling to the same tree six times. It's like a bluesy flute solo. Do you have any? Did you have any luck? It's beautiful. This has to be it. You know, Thinkred always said you were a man of many talents. And I think I'm beginning to understand what he meant. I have much to learn if I'm to be even half the hero you are. So much. He or she was. Ah, I'm sorry. Forget I said anything. We should hurry back to Slitherbow. Runar and the others are probably worried. I guess. 
Yes. Thank goodness you are safe. I've begun to fear the worst. By all that is dark, you found it. We can proceed with her service as planned. <laughs> These blessed gems serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits unto the sunless sea in the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sin Eaters, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured peace in the dark. Bam, 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 bam. Runar lets out a sigh of relief. Words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the blessed. I must insist you and your friends attend Tadia's service as honored guests. It's only going to be a 45-minute cutscene. I hope you don't mind. There is still much we must do to prepare, but please go and inform the others. It will be held in the darker. When you arrive... What? Did you say darker, or did I just read that wrong? Eh, it's too late. Can't go back. When you arrive, there should be an attendant present to explain the proceedings. Such as why it's apparently called a darker. Use darker as a noun. <laughs> du Bois and I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away. And we helped them recover a lost heirloom in the woods. I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help. There were senators and... As long as he accompanied you... Oh, as long as he accompanied you. But do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. H how did you... Let's just say a little bird told me. It's telling me now that Nuborius has business with us. Is something the matter? <laughs> They've asked us to attend the service? Of course we'll go. It is, it's being held in the darker. Is it? Is it? <laughs> it is called a darker. What the heck? Take care not to be late, I promise. Place it in the corner. Yahi Yahi Am I saying goodbye? What quest is that? About halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh, not quite halfway. It's twenty quests between the last trial and this dungeon. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? I suppose. Let us begin. Thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers.
we entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. I am greatly moved by my own presence. I should have liked to have met her. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered. They could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Like a rainbow in the dark. we have lost. I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhap sooner than later, in fact. Orionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. Love her. Love her. 
Ja, hey. <laughs> Good, you're here. Thanks to the Exarch's gift, our next course of action is now clear. Let's begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light. Much to my surprise, it dates back to the end of the Ronkin Empire. It was likely written under the direction of the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war. With neighboring nations, with each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to the enemies. In their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to their allies. This was one such petition. And do you think this ancient petition will somehow help us get into Ixmaja? <laughs> mm -hmm. Indeed we do. For etched into this tablet it is a method by which one may provide himself an ally to the Ronkin Empire. Provided we are able to decipher said instructions, we may entreat the ruins protectors to grant us safe passage. The problem, however, is I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed with ancient rock and text and translations into a more modern dialect which came into us after the use into use after the fall of the Empire. I am confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Here in Seattle. Ah, quite close to Sl Slitherbow, in fact. Ugh. The good news ends there, however, for in the possession of a rather radical fraction of dark worshippers, the children of the everlasting dark. It is in their possession, sorry. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require time to translate the text I need. I, to ensure that I will have enough, I'm afraid I must ask you and Thancred to assist me. Help. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If I were to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. Alright, I'll stay here until you return. I won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. Let's convene outside, in the west of Slitherbo, where the path, where the path diverges. Slitherbo, Slitherbo, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Slid the ball. camp and we seek is to the north, but it would be foolish simply to rush in. Guard has been posted at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he has ought to share their recent activity. But we must tread carefully. There is a chance we may encounter them in the long way. Stay close and alert. I would avoid confrontation if possible. They rejoice at dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so would cleanse their victims of sin and usher them onto the sunless sea. I'd rather not sully my hands defending myself against such madmen. Jeez Louise. The only needed sentence there was the first one. In all that text.
سیاهی By the blessed dark. Thank goodness you are unharmed. We would have arrived sooner, but we too had rather a welcome visit from the children. You are an acquaintance of the Master Matoyo, then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought I'd take a closer look. I was careless. Strange? What have you seen? First, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary, the usual gathering of ingredients for poisons from flora and fauna, but then I took notice of their venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in such great numbers. It's as if they're preparing for something. Something. Any ideas as to what? Could be anything, really. If it meant the end of the blessed, nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use their present preoccupation with the spiders to our advantage. If we were to introduce the threat to the nests, keep them, the children, the compelled, uh, would be compelled to save them bees, for example, or a natural predator of spiders. Set them loose on the nests, and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. What a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their hives. Have you anything we might be able to use? We should have smoke bombs at the outpost, should, at the outpost post just over there. Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search for the beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to our visit. visit. Once they're knocked out, take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. To play that game. <laughs> yeah. Hit you physically till you die by 50 50 attack at a die. It's too much. All right, fine.
can't believe I'm still in the bees hive with a large burlap sack. It's quite silly. Oh, there's two clouds. I returned to Slitherbow, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, thank you and I were successful inquiring what we need. How did you fare? Here I killed some bees. This is more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. Alright, how far away are we? I'm looking at my list here. Beautiful plan. Let's see, one, two, three, four, six. Alright, this will be the halfway point. Children's settlement is to the west, a place to call Woven Oath. According to the guard, there's an airway apart from the entrance, which leads to the spider's nest. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. There's airway. Do you see it? Yes. <laughs> A bit far, perhaps. We should be able to toss it back through. Though we should be... Should probably loosen the ropes. What? Though we should probably loosen the ropes, keeping it closed. Enough that it fails... Oh, gosh. Enough that it falls. 
open when it lands inside. My eyes are killing me. May I do the honors? Oh, I didn't wear my glasses all day, and now I'm wearing my glasses. Now, <laughs> now it doesn't feel good. That should do it. Now we wait. I'm wearing sunglasses. Every time, every time I do this, I'm wearing those sunglasses all day, put on the glasses later. It's bad. What is that? Bees in the abyss, they're everywhere. Help, someone help. We have to save the spiders. Sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely not all were drawn away from their posts. You should come to blows with the children. I'll see to any sign of struggle or concealed. Failing that, I'll create a distraction to buy you stole us some time. Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of loafing about forward in the shelves? Come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you're both ready. Hi. So many aggros. See if I can get that rid of at least one of them. The friend of the seeing suggests this is a chamber for prayers. At the very least, they would not place this near potential distractions from their worship. Perhaps the monument is further in. This looks like one of the final areas in FF11. Looks like that at last area we leveled up and Yes, this is it. I will be but a moment to keep watch of the entryway. Second thought, would you mind examining the murals on this wall while I look over this? At a glance I can tell they are old, predating the founding of the Blessed Inn children in fact we are not like to come here a second time it would behoove us to learn all that we can Target murals, huh? There another mural? Yes, there is. 
Warrior standing in triumph. Real appears to be fairly old. The knight shielding himself and his comrades from encroaching darkness. throughout history. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had... Oh. Oops. <laughs> he believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka. He was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned. Commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself? I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it seems he actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. Did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, he the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of work. There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. I'm reminiscing. the last quest because it's 10 I'll do the other 10 next Monday I believe I now have everything needed to finish deciphering the tab tell me Divorce, did the murals appear to be of any significance depictions of heroes from the age of gods the Rankin Empire and immediately before the flood very astute observations perhaps in another lifetime you could be a curator of antiquities Though it has no bearing on the task at hand, perhaps task at hand, perhaps that knowledge may prove to be of use in the future. Oh, boy! All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>